Hey guys, I have a principle to share for those of you who are planner, journal, archive people who like to keep hard copy versions of your DIY recipes on file. CurlyT.com subscribers will have their choice of different versions of this principle as well. On the free version of this principle, which is available in PDF form, there are two lines at the top for you to name your recipe. Here, I'm using a simple black paper mate ink joy pen. The created date is the date you actually made the recipe. The day you made the DIY product and the date you came up with the recipe itself may be different. Make sure you use this area for the date you actually made the product. It helps you keep track of how old your DIY product is or how long you've been testing it. The recipe total is the full weight of your finished product, not including the weight of the container itself. This recipe is in grams, so I circled GR on the form. You can use this particular principle in two ways. The first way is to let this be your scratch sheet where you're brainstorming about which ingredients to add to your recipe. You may want to have, you know, your whiteout handy to fix any changes. Now, the second way to use this sheet is to let the sheet serve as an archive. So you'll have a, a separate sheet of paper that you've scratched on, you've made corrections, you've you know, scratched out things, and then you can use this sheet to archive your final recipe data. You know, a way of keeping track of the best recipes. There's also a place on here to check whether a specific ingredient is optional or not. It's a place to designate whether that particular ingredient can be skipped if the recipe were to be made again in the future. There's an area to add your results and any additional notes about the recipe at the bottom. I use it to add info about how the DIY recipe worked on my hair. I almost always write additional notes in a different pen color. finished, use a clear sheet protector to add your recipe data to a binder for archival purposes. You can try to use a hole punch, but make sure you're not punching a hole through your actual data. It's just much simpler to use clear sheet protectors. Now to get this PDF file, go to curlyt.com and look for free printables. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget to become a member at curlyt.com to get access to all of the DIY recipes, full videos, instructions, 
full ingredient lists along with measurements to make your own hair care and skincare products.